Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let me ask you a question. What do you think that you do with your weed eater when you're not eating weed? What? What, what do you do with your weed eater when you're not using, like, during the winter, like now? I just There's put no it weed to eat. Put it in the shed. That's such a wasted, doing, wasted, a such a wasted use of a weed eater. I have thought of a much better use for your weed eater in the off season. My favorite winter activity. Oh no, don't say it. Going out on, no. the, out on the lake. No. I love going on the lake. 35 degrees outside that right now. makes it more exhilarating. Does it? Like the Iceman. See that, how that spins right there? In, in theory. Oh, yeah, it spins. What if we put a boat propeller on the end of that? <laughs> oh, then God. it's basically a gas powered ore. You just stick it in the water and <laughs> burn! We have two of them, one for each side. Like you do one side, I do another side. And if we need to steer, you just lift one side up. We take the good old booty patrol boat out. Oh, that's a classic. Yeah, it's been sitting there waiting for a chance to be used. Yeah. Welcome to the engineering studio. Me and this guy are the engineers. Oh God, and someone help. Super simple little bolt right there and we're good to go. How fast do you think these are gonna go? Like how fast do you go when you weed eat? About a mile an hour? As a person walking? Yeah. Yes. I would say at <laughs> so least a mile that. an hour on the water. I mean, it's basically a direct fit. I give us at least a 30% success rate on this. This is real time Ooh. engineering. Yeah. This is like NASA shit. This is NASA, but water. This is WASA. You know, I just realized this might make it hard to use your weed eater again in the summer. Huh. It's supposed to be, oh well. This has to be perfectly balanced because it's going to be spinning. They're ish. All right, I'm going to drill, I'll just drill some holes, like four. Ah! Oh yeah, yeah like butter. Silly. Perfectly even <laughs> pattern. So, that's going to be so sturdy. Yeah, it'll be very stable. Oh, I drilled something else. Yeah. That'll be fine. Yeah, that. Fine. This should be easy. I don't know if it was that far off. This one might be a little uneven. Not everything is perfect. That yeah. looks really balanced. Yeah. That's gonna feel good in the hand. <laughs> this one, the bolts uh, angle a little bit, but I'm sure it's fine. It'll be fine. I think the blade's more balanced. Definitely the blade's more balanced. Well, I'll do it with these. Oh. oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh. Does this make us boat mechanics? <laughs> that one's a little off. It's, it's fine. It'll be fine. This one will definitely work. That's the worst that can happen. This video is brought to you by Raycon. I've been working with Raycon for like three years now. And I can definitely say I honestly love them. I use them pretty much every day. And they really do offer premium audio at the perfect price point. Whether you're looking for a pair of everyday earbuds like these, or the, their fitness buds, or maybe even a gaming wow. headset. I don't got one of those, but I sure wish I did. But Raycon's got you covered. And not to mention, they come in at half the price of other premium audio brands, so you really don't even have to choose between one product you could get two and you're still probably paying less than one of those other brands even though i know you're gonna love raycons as much as i do raycon wants to make sure you feel good about your purchase so they even offer a buy now pay later option and every purchase has an easy and free return guarantee it's no wonder raycons earbuds have over 50,000 five star reviews one of my favorite features about raycons earbuds have to be their noise isolation it's some of the best also their customizable gel tips because the biggest problem with earbuds they never fit my massive ears so Problem solved with Raycon. I like to use these bad boys when I'm pumping iron on my Bowflex like Chuck Norris, and they absolutely do not budge. So if you want to get your grubby little hands on a pair of these or these or anything else that Raycon offers, then go to buyraycon.com slash ODS and get 15% off of your order. Thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring this video. Oh, yeah! Oh, God. That is gonna work! Woo That's a little wobbly. It should be better in the water. Oh, God! <laughs> It'll be better in the water. All right. Now we just got to get the booty patrol out of there. Got to load her up. God, the trailer's in the way. That's... And, the other boat. and the other boat's in the way. Huh. Oh, God. Ha! Okay. Whoops, too easy. Good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Oh, God. oh, that tire looks good. Oh, God. I always dreamed of this. Hooking up my boat. I always imagined a little nicer boat. Woo! That's good as new. Oh. These are just here, so they look like they're here, basically. They're doing a damn good job of appearing. Let's go get wet. <laughs> <laughs> or hopefully not, actually. No, let's do wet it. Would, wet would be bad. Ready to take a swim? We don't want wet. No, we're going to get wet. We don't want to be wet. Soaking though. wet. Maybe later tonight. Uh, well, for we'll be wet. Tonight. Are my tail, tail lights working? I don't know. It's game time, boys. It's the moment you've all been skipping to. Uh, <laughs> we got two uh, gas powered sticks. Oars. We're gonna put this bad boy in that nice warm water mm, on this oh nice boy. warm day. Love, love being out in the and water. And I reckon we'll get to the other side today. I fucking hope not. <laughs> I'm gonna back this up. You're good. 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 You're good.
water. I got it lined up pretty much perfectly straight. Ah, uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, what? We're taking a little bit of water. How? Oh, the drain, let's pull it out. Oh yeah, look. It's a good thing we didn't make this fatal mistake. Well, we technically did make the mistake. I'll see you in Nova Scotia. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the office. All right, I'll work on getting the engine started. All right. Oh yeah, uh, we're moving. Okay. I don't know which way it's gonna go. Oh God. Hey, look at that. I think that's reverse. If the water wasn't so strong, I think we would be able to get out there. There's no way this stupid paddle works better than our paddle. <laughs> it's, it's really cold. <laughs> when I saw 37 degrees, I didn't think it meant like actual Actually, 37 degrees. Or a little drippy. Uh, I just, fuck. Ah, why are boats so wobbly? I will be our engine. I'm gonna ignore my fingers because they feel like they're falling off. This fucking current, it's keeping us towards yeah. the shore. Tyler, these suck. I think, uh... Oh, God, it's... Oh, God! It's on fire! It's on fire, fire? It's sucking water up the shaft. Oh. <laughs> and sizzling. Remember, kids, don't let it suck water up the shaft. Hey, let's get back to the shore yeah, so my hands don't idea. fall off. It seems so promising for a little bit to me. It, like... In my mind. <laughs> it's a nice place to be, huh? <laughs> it's kind of like a cartoon. I feel like I should be standing and doing it. And you should be making out with the with someone. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, if you were wondering if you could use your weed eater to power your boat, you absolutely cannot. No. It doesn't work, like, at all. No. It really seems like it should work, though. Like, how does a troller motor work, but that doesn't? Oh, boy, did you like that video? Well, if you did, then you'll probably like this one, where we build boats using only things from Office Depot. It goes just about as well as this one did. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye, I love you. Click this video, please. Watch, watch it.